What's good everyone? Sonics is back with episode 2 of rewriting Sonic characters and today we are going to talk about Knuckles the Enchidna. So I think the best thing we can do is talk about what Knuckles was like before he was rewritten. So if you don't already know, Knuckles is the last of his species. He is the last Echidna on Sonic's planet. And this is important because the Echidna tribe, or now they're called the Knuckles tribe, used to protect a precious gemstone known as the Master Emerald. Knuckles being the last Echidna left, he feels the need to protect that gemstone on his own. Thus, Knuckles became a guardian of the Master Emerald. But over time, Knuckles proved himself as to be more than just a guardian. Knuckles relentlessly portrayed himself as gullible. He would fall for whatever Eggman had to tell him and then end up brawling with Sonic and trying to beat him because he thinks Sonic took the Master Emerald or what have you. And over time, Knuckles' consistent gullibility spiraled into a rivalry with him and Sonic. Knuckles also shared a rivalry with other characters like Rouge the Bat, and that rivalry would be persistent because Rouge would always be after any precious gem she could find, including the Master Emerald. And as a guardian of the Master Emerald, Knuckles was not putting up with it, so the two would relentlessly battle and even sometimes flirt with each other. Their bickering even caused the Master Emerald to shatter before, and that was okay though because Knuckles touted himself as a master treasure hunter, and he was able to find just about whatever he wanted, including the Master Emerald. Also, for being a guardian of the Master Emerald and spending so much time with it, Knuckles is also able to draw out power from the Master Emerald. We see him do this in games like Sonic Adventure 2. He also does this multiple times in Sonic X. Overall, there was a point in time where Knuckles was stubborn, but very capable of handling himself. Knuckles wasn't a needy character. All he asked for was alone time and peace and quiet with the Master Emerald. In short, I guess you could just say that Knuckles was kind of a loner. Switching gears here, we're going to talk about what we have now, the current Knuckles. And to start off, I think it's best we talk about the Master Emerald. What's it doing now? Where do we see it? And how is it used? That's the thing though, it's not used. With the exception of the Sonic Mania shorts illustrated by Tyson Hess, we don't see the Master Emerald being used in any mainline Sonic games anymore. Adding insult to injury, we also don't even see the Chaos Emeralds used very much anymore. However, if you do want to see these things back in action, like the Master Emerald and the Chaos Emeralds, you can check them out in the IDW comics. Personally, I feel as though when they removed the Master Emerald from the Sonic games, I feel like they also inadvertently removed Knuckles' character. Aware of this, I believe that Sega thought it was in their best interest to introduce some sort of new Knuckles. What we got was some sort of Walmart knockoff. We got Boom Knuckles. Love him or hate him, you have to recognize that these are two completely different characters. Funny thing about it is, even though Boom Knuckles is gone, after doing my research, I feel as though Boom Knuckles left a huge impact, a huge stain on Knuckles' character. Visually, our Knuckles may look different now than it does in Boom Knuckles, although personality-wise, it seems as though Knuckles has shifted sort of halfway to what Boom Knuckles is. Knuckles has shifted from someone who's serious and has meaning and also wants something to do in life, has purpose. It's become sort of like a goofball, like some sort of knockoff Knuckles. Like I already said before, the Walmart brand. All in all, to me at least, it seems as if recently in the games, Knuckles has shown himself to be either really bland or just downright useless. Knuckles has shown himself to be useless in games like Lost World and Forces. Both games, he doesn't do anything. It's so bad that Amy basically tells him to stay in the resistance base and continue to do absolutely nothing. You can make the claim saying that Knuckles, since he is the commander of the resistance, he doesn't have to fight. Well, I for one would argue this in response. If Knuckles is so strong, why isn't he in the front lines? Knuckles has already proven his strength in the past. We've seen what he can do. We've seen him go toe to toe with Sonic. So why isn't he in the front lines? Why isn't he fighting in this war? But that is all I'm going to say about that. In conclusion, Knuckles was and is a great character. He has so much potential and that's what currently makes him a great character. Of recently, I think the best place we can see Knuckles personality really shine through is in the Sonic Mania Adventures and Team Sonic Racing Overdrive shorts on YouTube. In conclusion, I do believe that Sega is capable of revising Knuckles. I just think they need to continue to portray Knuckles as a loner who will protect the Master Emerald at all costs. Continue to build Knuckles as a gullible yet trusty friend. And lastly, allow us to see just how strong Knuckles can be by making him hunt for treasure again or fight bad guys again. Maybe even bring back that token Sonic and Knuckles rivalry. 
Again, a lot of this isn't actually rewriting characters, it's more so revising characters. Like Shadow, for example. If you haven't seen that part yet, please check that out. Um, it's mostly just revising Shadow and bringing him back to his old former self. And same goes for Knuckles in this instance. But all in all, if you like this video, please go and check out my other ones. I've got plenty of a variety, actually, of other videos like skits and uh, other breakdown videos of the Sonic series. Also, of course, liking and subscribing and also sharing helps me out a ton. So please remember to do that. But with that being said, this is Sonics to signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Why are you playing that trash?